tickets to the policeman's ball? How much? Two dollars each. <laughs> <laughs> Glad everyone doesn't laugh me off. That's the way they treat me sometimes. Mr. Hunt. Bad chest. Nasty things, them summer colds. <laughs> Dad, is it all right if Davy and I go to the movies? I guess so. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to deliver that prescription first. Morning. Morning. Do you have a good cough medicine? I think so. That's quite a frog you have there. everyone on your block. <laughs> of course not. Hello, boys. Hi, Pastor. Morning. Choir practice? Yes, sir. Well, I'd better get to work on next Sunday's sermon. What's it about, Pastor? Loving our neighbor. We were just talking about our neighbors. About loving them? Hmm. Well, no, sir. Well, let's all three think about that, and maybe you can help me with my sermon. <laughs> Help Pastor with his sermon? Golly, how can you love your neighbor in a big old city when you don't even know him? Even when you do know him, it's hard sometimes.
couldn't have taken you this morning except Mr. Hunt didn't come for his monthly haircut. Who's Mr. Hunt? Oh, he lives around here someplace. come today, Miss Curtis. Why didn't Mr. Hunt come today to drive it? Absent three days and hasn't even bothered to call in. Doesn't he live in your neighborhood, Jonathan? I think so. Maybe he went on his vacation. He had it last month. If he's taken another job, he ought to let us know. Why don't you call him up? I did. The line's out of order. Oh, well. Oh, well? tickets. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, officer. Is your neighbor away? I don't think so. Just carelessness. Hunt. Oh, yes. Works at the library. Mr. Hunt. No, nothing settled. Fletcher Hunt didn't come to the meeting. Didn't even phone in. Yes, I'll let you know. Hello, boys. Dad said you wanted to see me, Pastor. I do. Uh, Bobby Cohen had to go away suddenly. His grandfather's sick. He asked me to find someone to deliver his newspapers on this block. Could you do that, Jonathan? Sure, me and Davy. Fine. Uh, here's a list of names. I want my breakfast. After the papers. Oh, oh. papers for Bobby Cohen. What's that dog doing? That's Mr. Hunt's milk. Um, uh, it spilled. Goliath's cleaning it up. Tell you the truth, I'm glad it happened. Such a clutter of milk. Golly, how many kids has he got? Kids? He lives alone. Then what's all the milk for? <laughs> My toast is burning. Say, will we have to pay for this? I guess we should offer. Hope you enjoyed your breakfast, Goliath. Well, I didn't. One of those bottles was sour. It's not our fault if he sleeps all morning. Let's go. We got a bunch of papers to deliver. Davy. Yeah? We keep hearing about Mr. Hunt, but we never see him. Hey, you're right. Dad, do you know Mr. Hunt? Comes in here sometimes. He's a big mystery. How's that? He's disappeared. Nobody knows where he is. <laughs> you kids in your imagination. Bet I know what happened to him. What? I bet a robber got in his apartment. He tied Mr. Hunt to a chair, see? Then he robbed the safe, all Mr. Hunt's money, and stuck it in a bag. After that, he ripped out the telephone. That's why it's out of order. Then he sneaked out of there and left poor Mr. Hunt still tied up. That's why he doesn't take his milk in and can't answer the door. That's why he hasn't been to work or got his hair cut or been to church meetings. And that's why he's missing. Gee. Let's be detectives. Climb up the fire escape. We're gonna hunt Mr. Hunt. Was it? Third. That's it right there. He's sick. You can tell he's sick. Mr. Hunt! Mr. Hunt! The window's locked. It won't open. Come on. We got 
to get help. Might be double pneumonia. All I cared about was the price of a haircut. I thought about the milk, not the man. How inconvenient it was. Let George worry about it. Should have opened that apartment. Meant to. Kept telling myself I was too busy. My next door neighbor buys cough medicine. Do I give him another thought? Let George do it. And where was I when my neighbor needed me? Pastor, are we supposed to be good neighbors to everyone? We have to try, Davy. Be aware of their needs. Try to help. Pastor's right. We've got to stop saying, let George do it. Everyone says, let George do it. Who is George? George is anyone but ourselves. Someone else to do it, not us. Well, I'm George. You're George. And we've all got a job to do. Hi, George. Hi, George. And five men on the block have already volunteered to drive the bookmobile. Miss Curtis, is there anything we can do? <laughs> <laughs> 